What's going on everyone? Jake here with Venter Visuals and today we're going to be taking a look at how to create these vintage film effects using some packs by my fellow creators. We're going to be using some overlays, some transition templates, and some sound effects to really elevate our next project. Every day I scroll through Instagram, I see these film overlays and looks pop up on my feed. Everybody's using them in their music videos and their creative projects, and I think there's so many cool ways to use them. Now this song is very boom bap, old school type hip hop. Lord, you're a father to the fatherless. Positivity to the passive. Well, the first film effects we're going to be looking at today are from Cinepax. We're going to be dropping in some stuff from their 16 millimeter film effects pack. We have some punch holes and then we also have some film burns right here, which are really, really nice. And then we have some sprocket holes. Let's go with this 16 millimeter frame three right here. I think this one is really cool looking. Drag that onto our timeline there above our footage. Underneath this overlay, I'm gonna add some grain and a film burn. So let's find some grain here, throw one of these on. This is some pretty nice grain. Let's throw that underneath our overlay. And then let's change this grain overlay. Let's go with multiply. And then let's also take the opacity down just to maybe like 30%. I'm gonna move my top overlay up one more layer. And then this time let's add a little film burn onto this clip. So I like this one, 16 millimeter film burn two click and drag that onto our clip and then let's also throw on another film burn overlay for the end part of this let's go with something this one's really clean 16 millimeter film burn let's throw that onto the end here change the blending mode of these film burns let's go with color dodge we could also go with screen uh, we'll just leave it on screen for now and then we'll copy paste that opacity onto our other film burn lord you're a father to the fatherless positivity to the pessimist Man, I look at the streets and I weep at the tension. It's been over four weeks. That Within seconds, we were able to give our footage a really dope film look and it automatically gave our video some extra style points. So shout out to the Cinepack 16 millimeter film pack. Go check it out if you would like to, links down below. I'm really excited to show you guys this next film pack. And this is the film frame transitions from Brian Delamata. I think this pack is super dope, very easy to use. It's got some great variety as well. When you download Brian's film frame pack, you'll get a folder that looks like this. We have the film frame transitions for After Effects in Premiere Pro. What I'm gonna do is just drag the Premiere Pro file into my project bin here. I'm going to select Create Folder for Imported Items and hit OK. Once you import the pack, you should see a folder here in your project bin called film frame transitions we'll go ahead and open that up if I change my view here on the bottom we can see what each one of these transition looks like before dragging it onto my timelines I think this one here looks really cool so let's go ahead and drag this into our sequence let's use it right at the end of this clip so right there so what I'm gonna do is just hop around my timeline and find some dope shots to put in these film frames like this one this is a really dope frame from the video Let's come down to my export frame button and if you don't have this export frame button right here on your editor you can just select button editor right here. It's gonna click export frame and then we can save it where we want to. Also select import into project. Make sure that box is turned on and hit okay. I'm gonna go take some more pictures throughout this timeline. Once I'm done taking the photos that I want on my timeline, I'm gonna double click on this bottom film layer right here and I'm gonna start clicking and dragging the frames I took into this sequence you can see i'm just going to drag out the stills so that they last the whole time here it's just a matter of tweaking them and getting them to sit right in the film scan and move this one over here and then what we can do is drop down our opacity create a square make these points connect to the film frame edges so boom we just created a little mask there and then let's do the same thing for these other ones let's take this one shrink it down so it's about perfectly right in the middle there. And then we'll do the same thing, make an opacity square, click and drag these around a little bit. All right, so this is just the top film strip of this transition. Let's hop back into our timeline here. Now we have the images appearing. Let's click on our next film frame. Let's jump into that one and let's put an image into this one as well. Drag it out here. And then let's do the last one here drag one more still into this one adjust it to our liking let's go ahead and move these over a little bit just to line up with our 
cut, click and drag these film frames out a little bit longer so that they just last on the screen just a hair longer. And I think that's going to sell it. My feet is flooded with emotion. The ink is rising like a tidal wave in the ocean. I've used this pack in several music videos already, and I'm finding it really useful. People really enjoy these types of effects. So if you're interested, make sure to go check out Brian Delamada's film frame transition pack on his website. I've been using this acid wash pack by Video Milkshake on a lot of my recent music videos. So we do have a bunch of really cool, unique kind of light leaks and flashes across the screen, as well as some stuff like this which I'm finding really, really creative, really useful for some of my projects to kind of get that vintage film look. So let's go ahead and drag this one called Melted Edge Linear Light into my timeline, cut the excess off the end of that, and then let's change the blending mode to Color Dodge. As I scroll over, you can see we get that look right away instantly. It already looks really sick. Let's take another overlay from this pack. Let's use this one called Firestorm Linear Dodge Add. Drag that to use as like kind of a transition between this first clip and the next clip. Let's select this new overlay we're gonna use as this transition and change the blending mode to color dodge. It's gonna kind of give us that flash into the next clip. This pack is just full of useful assets. I really recommend checking this pack out. There's so many cool little light leaks and overlays in this pack. You know, honestly, I have no idea how this stuff is made. It's just really cool to me how people are able to scan these effects in, customize them, make them their own, and then put them out on the internet for people like me to use. Another really cool thing about this pack is that it has stills in it too. So if you're doing any type of cover art or graphic design. There's some really cool options in here to use on your own designs as well. Turn into riots with violence and I can no longer be silent. Lord, you gotta give me the words because I usually tend to be quiet and just observe. One cool thing I've seen people do with these like sprocket holes is take some B-roll. So let's just take this shot here at the end and drag it over our overlays that we just created. So what I'm gonna do with this clip is just shrink it down Let's just shrink it down here, drag it over to where like the sprocket hole is. And let's actually put the overlay above our footage so we can see it a little bit better. Let's move our clip up right into this sprocket hole. So right about there, we're going to create a mask around the sprocket hole. So let's just start there, make a little edge around the corner. So once I'm done masking, you can see now we have this really cool concept where we have some B-roll playing within the sprocket hole while the actual shot is still going on here in the background. So a creative way to use these types of film overlays with these sprocket holes. To riots with violence and I can no longer be silent. Lord, you gotta give me the words because I usually tend to be quiet and just observe. Super sick hyped on it. Another amazing pack that I've been using is this film scan effects pack by Cinema Wire. In this pack, we have several folders. We have some film frame PNGs here. We also have some Photoshop documents. A reason why I really like to use this pack by Cinema Wire is he includes some of these dirtied up Polaroid frames, which I don't see many film packs doing. A lot of them have like these super clean cut outlines and scans of the film frames. What I really like about this pack is that it has these kind of weathered frames here where it looks like they've been around for a while. Let's go ahead and close out of this Photoshop document. We're going to take a look at this Polaroid AE transition project folder that he's included in the pack. So you can see here we have a nice Polaroid pop up transition and it's just really unique. So let's go ahead and customize this and make it our own. Double click into this first clip pre-comp, double click into our Polaroid pre-comp, and I'm just gonna scroll here until we can see all of these Polaroids. Let's change the transparency to black background so we can see a little better. Delete these images he used for his example and replace them with some of our own. Let's take a few frames from some music videos I've worked on. Let's take this one of this nice car, drag it below our first Polaroid layer. Let's turn off these other Polaroid layers so we can see exactly which one we're tweaking. Adjust this frame. Let's rotate it a little bit. So let's go ahead and mask around this image so that it only shows up inside the Polaroid frames. Parent this image to this Polaroid layer. So let's just click and drag the parent pick whip tool to this Polaroid layer. That way when the Polaroid layer moves around, the image inside of it will also follow. Let's do the same thing now with two more images. All right, now that we've imported and masked our new images, as I play it back, you can see we get a little animation with it as well. Let's replace this background footage with some footage from this music video. And then what we can do is also replace 
this second clip. So let's jump into here. Then let's just take the same video and let's just move this around a little bit. So it's gonna start in a different spot. Really dope transition. I haven't really seen too many people come up with these Polaroid type templates. So if you're wanting to support a small independent creator, definitely check out my boy Cinema Wire. He's got some other packs on his website that are super unique and useful as well. For this last example today, we're gonna be using some split screen mats from a company called Tropic Color. If you've been around in the editing space, you've probably heard of them before. They're also really big on filmmaking as well, and I absolutely love what their company stands for. Now on their website, they do have a couple split screen mat packs. So if I open up some of these, you can see we got some nice rough edges around these kind of outlines here where we can place our clips. So here on my timeline, I've pulled up a music video called Palm Trees, which I shot with a local artist named Rudil, and I used these split screen mats throughout the video. And let's do a little split screen mat effect on top of some of this footage. Let's find one here. Let's find one that's relatively simple. Maybe this one with the three different mats here. Drag that into our timeline and extend it out for a little bit there. These are designed in 4K too, so what we gotta do is right click on them scale to frame size, Let's just scale this up a little bit so we don't have those weird edges. Once you've scaled it up to get it to about where you want it to be, we're gonna stack some footage. So let's drag our overlay on top of all of our footage here. Since there's three different blocks here, three different sections, we're gonna need three layers underneath. So this is drag out some of these clips here underneath. So boom. And then what I'm gonna do is just align these clips. So let's drag this first one over here to where he's kind of centered up in that frame right there. Let's create a little mask so that he's not popping up in those other frames. You can see gas station still popping up in those other frames. So boom, we've created a little mask now and that second clip is starting to reveal itself. Let's move this one over till we get it just right in that top right. Create another little mask around here. Now it is kind of hard to see this line so I might have to do a little adjusting here but uh, this should look pretty good. So boom, now I am noticing this clip here at the bottom block. It's just another image of his face and we already have two videos of his face in this sequence. So let's delete this one on the bottom. Let's find some other shot here. It has some like interesting looking B-roll or something. This B-roll shot of my dude Trap Star R with his ring would be really awesome here in the bottom half of this split screen mat. So let's drag this down underneath and then let's move this around until we can see his ring showing. So right about there. That looks pretty sick to me. Had them deals up on the tables. Young ass nigga had them pigs up in that stable. Nigga playing like you crazy. Let's go ahead and preview this little sequence here where there's multiple split screen mats just so you guys can get a feel of what it looks like. Used to wash up in the faucet just trying to get clean. Now I'm trying to put that water on my DVD. She may act like she don't know me, but I made a cream. How you down for your home? This pack is by Tropic Color and they do have multiple split screen packs on their website. So go check it out, links down below. So as you saw in today's video, there are quite a few ways to create your own unique film looks by using overlays in these transition templates. All the packs we used today were developed by very creative, talented individuals. And I hope you guys go check them out in the links down below. If you are looking to download some free stuff like overlays, transition presets, and light leaks, definitely check out my free pack down below. It's on my website, VentureVisuals.com. Please comment below any questions or concerns you might have about any of these packs at all. I'm happy to help you guys answer your questions. And feel free to send me your work on Instagram. It's always an awesome feeling to have this community sending me your work and also seeing the results of you guys watching some of my tutorials and just elevating your overall aesthetic. Building this video editing community is such a joy in my life. Absolutely love making these videos. And I appreciate all of you guys for watching them. So until next time, I'm Jake Venner. Peace out.